Alright, here we go, a battle with Tony Flygon. I was very skeptical of posting this match because we had two matches. One where I used more OUs than him, and one where he used more OUs than me. I decided, screw it, and we're just going to go with the one that was closer because it's really hard for us to actually find a time where we could actually both battle together. Anyway, I'm going to go with my Jolteon and lead off and just go for a straight for the Shadow Ball, not wanting to predict anything too early. And he says in Skun Tank, which I can't really do anything to because it's not doing Jack Squat. So I'm going to switch out to my Drapion, which is completely counter it, and possibly do anything like uh, Toxic or Poison Jab or whatever it is that Skun Tanks do. Earthquake, possibly. Wait, would Earthquake help at all if I actually... Whatever. Anyway, he went for Sucker Punch, which I obviously countered, so... Ah, well, going to go for the Cross Poison. I was this close to choosing Ice Fang, putting the switch to Flygon, because I knew he was going to switch out of his Skun Tank, but... Oh, well, too late for me now. But I make a real, 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 real risky play here. I don't even know what I was even thinking on this play. I go for Ice Fang here. And I actually outspeed it. So that tells me it's not Scarfed for one. And it's obviously not Jolly. So, wow. I got so lucky. But, oh my gosh, that worked out so well for me. That worked out real well. Then he sets in Polyrock. that I have no attack for whatsoever. I'm going to switch into Jolteon, which could easily counter it. Any problem, no problem. Well, unless it has, like, Dynamic Punch or Sub Belly Drum, in which case it might prove kind of, you know, bad. But he goes for a Toxic, so that tells me it's, like, possibly a bulky variant. I'm like, um, alright, I'd much rather take a Toxic than a, um, Waterfall or something. Yeah, no problem. I go for T-Bolt here, obviously, and he switches out into his Pokemon Skun Tank, which is going to take that horribly. So, it takes it down to low red, so I know, okay, I could take it out with the hidden power now. Although, I'm losing health for my poison, my po toxic, so that's kind of bad. Hidden power is going to do a, not enough. I actually thought with my TV that I actually survived that, because I thought I saw a little small sliver of red. No, that was just my TV being weird. Then it says in Mag Cargo. Okay, you've got to have a lot of balls to send this thing in. I mean, it's a Mag Cargo. Come on. But... Whatever, he's trying to pull one off. He goes for Recover, and it completely absorbs my Thunderbolt, like, greatly. So, obviously, I can't do anything to it, and I just wasted a turn, and now I'm going down more in Toxic Health. So, and what can you do? I'm going to switch out to Rampardos, my Yoshi, which could easily counter this Rampardos. Easily countered its Mag Cargo because it's awesome. It's Rampardos and it's Beast. It could destroy anything with Head Smash. So it's like exactly what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the Head Smash. Now, I might have possibly gone for Earthquake may to be a better move, but nah. Then he has some Polywrath. Now, check this out Head Smash doesn't even do a third to this guy. So, I'm like, holy crap, this thing is bulky. Obviously, I'm not leaving this in because I don't have a Death Wish. I accidentally click Give It and I'm like, no, no, no. Don't give in. Not yet. Or not at all. I don't give in. That's not what I do. So I switched out and went into my Dragonite Destroyer here. And I'm like, okay. Okay, this thing's the only attacking move is Waterfall. I'm not afraid of it. I'm just going to set up on you, okay? I'm going to set up and go for the Dragon Dance. What are you going to do to me, huh? Going to go for a Toxic. Ooh, I have a Lumberry. Big deal. So I go for a Dragon Dance. I'm just waiting for a Toxic. Just waiting for it. Come on. Come on. Encore. Well... Crap! That completely eliminates my entire plan, and, uh, oh well, that's what I get for using OUs, right? Anyway, I said in my ecstatic here again, just as fodder, because I know it's poisoned, and it's at low health, pushing damage from stealth rocks. Yeah, I'm not going to leave this thing for any longer, so I just let it die from waterfalls. And with, I get a pointless crit. I mean, maybe in it, no, nope, no, nope, that was, that was definitely pointless to the max. Whatever. I sent in Patches here because Patches is so cute. Look how happy Patches is. Ah, it's so happy. Everyone loves Patches. I mean, they say whoever looks at whoever looks at a Togekiss is always happy, except in the Pokemon Meta game where it's the exact opposite. Anyway, I'm just gonna go straight for the T Wave, for even the Switch, and he does. He sends in Mag Cargo, which is pointless because it's already slow as crap to begin with. So, oh well, at least has a chance to not attack, maybe. Eh? Whatever. I said in my poly. I said in my, in my poly wrath. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I said in my Dragonite here, but he gets paralyzed. I'm like ah, that kind of that might have actually changed the game a bit. I don't know. I go for the earthquake here. Super effective, obviously. Four times super effective. That's gonna kill it. No problem, because my cargo's defense is absolutely atrocious. So then he sends in Rotom, which I can't outspeed, and I can't use Extreme Speed, obviously, because this goes. I'm like, uh, Dragon Claw? Nope, Thunderbolt, gonna kill me. Meh, whatever, I deserve that, I guess. So Destroyer got destroyed there, and I'm gonna have to send it out and send in my Pinpoint here, which is just the ultimate counter to this Rotom here. It's like, alright, come on, 
come on. I have sniper. I'm super effective. What are you going to do to me? What are you going to do to me? Switch out, which you probably do. Whoops. I go for night slash. So I still pull off a crit against Polyrath. Okay. Okay. I have sniper. I don't have any boosty move to use my, it's my critical hit ratio, but I still have a chance because I have sniper that is going to make super powerful crits. Come on. That's what you're supposed to do. Cross poison. Come on. Go for it. Go for the crit. Go for the crit. Lol, lol, lol. Blinking on crits. Lol, you fail. Whatever. I don't care. Waterfall isn't going to kill me because I take this thing somewhat in defense. I think it's like full speed, half defense, half HP for the remaining EVs or something like that. Although kind of pointless because I have low HP to begin with. Anyway, I go for cross poison here again. Hoping for a crit or at least to do damage. It does damage, but it's not a crit, but I, I could deal with that. Obviously, it's going to kill me off with Waterfall. If it didn't, well, my game would be glitched. And I'm pretty sure I don't have a glitched game. Well, technically, my girlfriend would have a glitched game for the fact that, you know, it's her game that I stole. Um, I'll, yeah, I, I, no, no, I just, I just stole it from her. And it was set in patches here, my Togekiss again, which is obviously going to go straight for the Air Slash. Or, no, I go for a Roost here. And I was hoping it didn't have the fighting move. Like, okay, I hope it doesn't have the fighting move. I'm going to go for a Roost. Okay, come on. He goes for the Toxic, which is a good play on his part, because now I can't stall. Although I don't really like stalling too much to begin with, because I think stalling to, a past to, to, stalling to a degree is extremely boring. If you stall for a couple turns, that's fine. If you stall for, like, you know, 40 turns, seriously, just, I don't even deal with that crap. I usually just say, okay, one, one of runs is getting nowhere. Anyway, his Playwrath goes down, and my Togekiss is I could hell, so now he has his Rotom left. Which I think could possibly kill me, so I'm not going to actually leave this in. I mean, that would be death wishing right there. Complete death wish. I sent it in Magnus Zone. I have no idea why I sent this thing in, because... Yes, I could take hits from it crazy, even though it, well, that was a crit. But I can't actually do anything to the Rotom itself. So, uh... Yeah, what was my thought process here? Whatever, I'm just going to go for HP Fire and see what he brings out. He brings out his Executor. It's worked out really well for me. Like, holy crap, that was... That was not planned whatsoever. That was that was all luck there. All right, so I'm gonna go for the explosion here, hoping that he doesn't have sleep powder. But he's actually I'm actually faster in it. I'm like holy crap! I actually trained this thing full and special, full in defense and HP, just like I took a kiss. So wow, I can't believe I actually outsped you. Either way, his executor has a little sliver of health left, so I'm going to send in Yoshi to finish it off with a head smash, because that's what Yoshi does, because Yoshi is just awesome, and it's, you know, it's just the way it is. I mean, look how awesome it looks. Look how awesome it is. It's just ready to head smash everything in its face, and it's past ready to wreck everything up. So, executor goes down with a crit. I mean, that is completely overkill, but that's what Yoshi does, because Yoshi is awesome. It's like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I pull off a crit against their useless move, but you know what? I did it because I wanted to, yeah. So, I'm going to go for head smash here against his Rotom, and that's going to be a one-hit KO against his Rotom, too. So, of course, guys, the, after I get my head smash back, that's going to be good game. Kind of something meh.